My name is Lawrence Goodwin. I am the Executive Director at KCAS Bioanalytical and Biomarker Services. Uh, we're located in Kansas City, Missouri. We've been in business for 39 years. Uh, myself, I've been in uh, life sciences for almost 30 years now. I spent a large chunk of that in the pharmaceutical side of things, and now I'm on the other side in the service industry. I would say that uh, what interested me in mass spec was in the mid-90s, uh, working at Monsanto GD Cyril. Uh, we were working on some projects where we would deliver our natural product purified compounds to the mass spec lab, and they were too slow in getting us the results. So we worked with a couple of the scientists there, and they introduced me to the world of mass spec in 95, and we developed a LCMS uh, assay so that we can do it online. And so ever since then, I've had a really, I'd say a passion for tandem technology. We did um, LCNMR, LCNMR, NMS. So we've really moved forward uh, a long way since that time, and I've been involved uh, pretty much at the forefront in tandem technology since then. So currently we have introduced discovery research focus as well as our current clinical and non-clinical research areas that we focus in. And we're trying to expand our portfolio of services into new areas to develop uh, what we would like to call an integrated drug discovery pipeline so that we can help answer clients' questions from the beginning to the end of the, of the discovery pipeline. So right now, uh, we would be able to solve problems using uh, traditional tandem technology, uh, LCMSMS work. Uh, we also have uh, LBA work that we can do. Uh, those are the focuses of the instrumentation, but as far as solving problems with the, the assays, we can do plasma protein binding, we can do equilibrium dialysis, we can do dose form analysis as well as the traditional concentration determination, and we can as well do uh, stability profiling. We mainly, uh, with in the bioanalytical service area, have two main focuses. We have the chromatography side and we have the mass spectrometry side. So with the chromatography side, it's a traditional HPLC or UPLC, uh, which is ultra-high pressure liquid chromatography. And those technologies, uh, they give us the selectivity that we need to assay uh, the target analytes of the client and the sponsor that they've dosed, as well as identify and, and separate out any metabolites that they may have. For the mass spectrometry side, one of the things that we gain is the sensitivity as well as the specificity. So if you run something through the chromatography, if you're just using a traditional UV, you can't really tell that that peak is just that peak. It could have something underneath of it. But with the mass spec, we're looking at a parent-daughter relationship or an MRM relationship, so we can actually determine that that is the peak of interest and that is your compound. So it's very specific. I wish I could say there were none, but unfortunately there, there is a handful. Uh, one of them is matrix suppression. Uh, you can either get uh, suppression or enhancement of the compounds due to the bioanalytical matrix that it was uh, assayed in. Another one would be uh, nonspecific binding uh, on the extract where we actually lose uh, the sample and it's not recovered fully. So those are some of the key ones that we work with and deal with on a daily basis. Well, uh, for uh, the regulated part of the field that already is regulated by the FDA, uh, and that's the GLP and the GCP. So 21 CFR Part 58 is the good laboratory practices which we go for. And then the uh, GCP clinical samples have their own set of rules that are governed by the FDA. I would like to see it more automated. I think that uh, we can go directly from animal and sample processing collection to analysis, one-stop shop. Uh, where it could be speed up uh, the delivery of results to clients. So one of the key things that I learned maybe a little later uh, in my life was networking and the power of collaboration. So I would advise them to build their network uh, and collaborate with other scientists to achieve results so that they can understand the power of having a lot of people performing that type of work.